Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you a muscle tension demonstration. And when a muscle gets really tight, it puts a lot of strain on the tendons that are on the ends of that muscle. And so, let's say we're talking about this lower leg muscle, the gastrocnemius, and if we, if we squeeze this muscle, What happens down there at the Achilles tendon? Can you see that? It tightens. Now imagine that this muscle has gotten really, really tight from your daily activities, but you never did any self-massage on it, you never stretched it. That Achilles tendon continues to get tighter and tighter until eventually it gets strained, and then you have a connective tissue strain, and it really takes a long time for something like that to heal, weeks. And so, what you ultimately want is a body that's loose. And when people are young, typically, unless they've done something unusual, their bodies are fairly loose. But as they get older, their bodies get tighter and tighter. And then after they die, they call them a stiff. <laughs> that's a term from the old days. Or they still probably use it, a stiff. You don't want to get stiff. And as you get older, the more you, old you get, you, you have to keep working on it to keep everything loose. Because whenever you go to grab something, or if you go to bend over, if you're tight, then you're going to get something strained. And that's what you don't want. Because like I said, it'll take a long time for it to heal. So the answer is to do self-massage first and then stretching. Thanks for watching my videos. Be well. Hey everybody, this is Brett again and I just wanted to add one thing to this video. Somebody just made a comment and I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm gonna stay away from humans as much as possible because it's gonna take some time for them to realize that health care is something that you do on your own. And it's not something that you can pay to Blue Cross Blue Shield or any doctor or any hospital. 95, at least 95% of what is considered to be conventional medicine, I'm going to state this again, at least 95% of what is considered to be conventional medicine is going to fail miserably. Okay? None of it is worth a shit, hardly any of it, other than like operations for injuries that a person might get from an accident, something like that. Everything else, healthcare wise, that's legitimate, is it comes from what you eat and what you think, what you breathe, what you drink, what you do for a living, what your attitude is. All these are all legitimate health care items, modalities, exercise, herbs, listening to natural sounds. All of this. This is all, these are all legitimate health care items. And when Congress is debating over health care, all of that is illegitimate. It's all bullshit. Almost all of it. It's a waste of billions and billions and billions of dollars and time. It's all a big waste of time. It's completely... 95 plus percent of it is worthless.